welcome back to my channel. So today I was getting ready for an event I had to do for work and I decided to film me getting ready. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching. So this is going to be my fourth look using my prison palette. And the reason why I've been using this palette a lot is because um, I tend to see a lot of YouTubers kind of do a tutorial with one specific palette and then they just move on. And I just feel like palettes, especially new ones, especially the ones that look like the prison palette, where they're so different, some people might get stuck on the looks they want to use. Um, I think that other YouTubers should, you know, incorporate more looks, more than just one look, using the same kind of palette. Um, but after this one, I think I'm going to move on to another palette. But if you guys want to know how I get this look, just keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it. Bye! Okay, so jumping right into the video, I'm going to start by moisturizing my face. And today I'm going to be using my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is um, different than my usual moisturizer, which is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This is a gel consistency, as it says in the bottle. And I kind of like this a lot better than the lotion, so I think I'm going to switch over. And it works very well. I've been testing it out for about a month now. Might be time to get a big bottle. <laughs> Okay, so after I'm done moisturizing my face, I'm gonna go in with some primer. And today I'm going to be using one of my favorite primers, which is my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. To be honest, I've tried a lot of primers and this one, I can vouch that I feel like it works. I do think that my foundation and everything else that I put on my face, my concealer, um, lasts a lot longer when I put on this primer. Okay, so now moving on to color correcting. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer in the color 20 and 400. This is the green one, and this helps a lot with my dark circles under my eyes. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that on, the, on another video, but I've been doing this a lot lately because I feel like it makes me look more awake. Okay, so after I'm done applying that green concealer, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Honey, and I'm just gonna apply that on top of that green concealer. This just helps with the color correcting, and I feel like it brightened up my under eyes a lot more. I usually don't tend to do this, but since I was going to an event, I wanted to make sure that m my under eyes were very bright and I looked very awake. Okay, so today I'm going to be using two foundations, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before too, that one of, one of these foundations is way too dark for my skin, and one of them is way too light, so I like to mix them together. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Re Remarkable Foundation in the color Bisque, and mixing it in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the color Y415. And the way I applied this foundation today is I took the applicator and I just kind of dotted the Marc Jacobs foundation on my face. And then I went in with that Makeup Forever foundation and placed it on the back of my hand and took a beauty blender, I mean a beauty sponge, and kind of mixed in the two foundations right on top of my face. And I really like the finish of how I applied the foundation today. I really didn't know how to put it on because Marc Jacobs foundation is really... Like this foundation is really hard to work with. It's so full coverage that you have to work so incredibly fast to get it to kind of not look too cakey on the skin. So I was blending my foundation in for a while here, but all in all, overall, I do like the finish of this foundation. And after I was done with blending in the foundation with that beauty sponge, I'm going in with a stippling brush and then just kind of pressing the foundation onto my skin to make it look more skin-like.
Okay, so moving on to highlighting, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color light and I'm just going to be placing that on the middle of my nose and under my eyes. And I'm doing quite a lot of highlighting today. Just a heads up. Okay, so after I am done applying the concealer, I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and then just kind of blend it out just how I blended out my foundation. After I'm done applying my concealer, I'm going to be using my favorite translucent powder, which is the Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I'm taking my damp beauty sponge and kind of dipping it in the powder and then just setting my under eyes with it to do some baking today. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera, and now I'm going to be wiping away that translucent powder with a stippling brush. Okay, so now I'm going to be priming my eyes with some eyeshadow primer and today I'm using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in the shade Minor Sin. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to go in with my transition shade and the transition shade that I was looking for, I couldn't find anything like what I was looking for in the Prism palette so I took my ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I took the shade Golden Ochre and placed it on my lid as my transition shade and I am using a Sigma E30 brush to do so. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to be going in with the shade Saturn from the Prism Palette, and I'm going in with that same E38 brush, and I'm going to be placing that on the crease of my eye in Winchilled by Promotions. And when I was doing this step, my tape wasn't sticky enough so I ended up getting a new tape because I just I like the way the eyeshadow looks when I know where I want it to end and that's why I always put on tape when I'm applying my eyeshadows so anyway I'm gonna go in and windshield wiper motions and I'm gonna go in all the way to the inner corner of my eye because I want to create a halo eye for this look Okay, so once I'm done blending in that Saturn shade, I'm gonna go in with the shade Parallel from the palette, and I'm gonna be taking my MAC, I always forget the name of this brush, 226SE brush, and I'm gonna be placing that right on the bottom of the Saturn shade that I went in, and I just kinda wanna smoke out the, the line, so that's why I'm placing it on the crease, but just right on the bottom of that Saturn shade that I put on. And then I'm just gonna be taking those same windshield wiper motions and just going back and forth to create the halo ombre kind of eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E38 brush and then just kind of buff out the eyeshadows. And then I'm taking off my tape as you can see, my eyeshadow looks really clean and sharp because of the tape. And because I had tape there, it kind of shifted my foundation. So I'm taking some concealer and then just adding it um, with a beauty sponge just to make it sharper and clean up that red mark that was caused because of the tape. And then I'm taking that E38 brush and then kind of just buffing everything out to make the eyeshadows look seamless. And then I'm going to cut my crease, and I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape on the back of my hand, and I'm taking a Real Techniques Detailer Brush to apply the concealer on 
the lid of my eye. And this doesn't take very long, but I do feel like when you're adding a shimmer color on the center of your eye, it helps tremendously to cut your crease. And I really like the way it looks. After I am done cutting my crease with a concealer, I'm going to be setting that concealer with the color Unity from the Prism palette. And after I am done, I'm going to blend everything out with my Sigma All Over Blend brush. It's an E37. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit more parallel on that MAC brush and smoke everything out again. Kind of taking everything into the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the shimmer color for the lid of my eye and I'm going to be wetting my packing brush and I'm pretty sure the packing brush that I chose today is the one that came in the palette and I'm taking that shape pyramid and placing it all over the lid. After I am done putting that shape pyramid all over the lid, I'm going to go in with the shade eternal from the palette and I'm just going to place it on top of that pyramid color. And I really, really like the way the color turned out. Even though Eternal kind of showed up more than the Pyramid shade, I don't know, the mixture of the two colors were just so beautiful to me, so I kept it on that way. And once I am done putting on those two shimmer shades, I'm gonna go in with that same Sigma brush and blend everything out because I don't want any harsh lines. Just clean, this is just the part where I clean up a little bit and put on a little bit more Saturn on the brush to make the orange really stand out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some mascara on the bottom lashes and I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic. I went ahead and put falsies off camera and the ones I used today were Allure Wispies. And for setting my foundation, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation and I'm in the shade medium. And this is just an extra step I like to add. So when I'm going to an event, my face stays really matte. And I like to apply it with my stippling brush. Okay, so now moving on to contouring, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Clay Play palette and I'm gonna go in with that shade terracotta on a stippling brush and I'm gonna be placing that on the outer points of my face and at first I just kind of like dot it with the stippling brush and then I buff it out typically where I usually bronze my face and you have to go in with a very light hand with this palette because it's so pigmented but I really like the way it turns out after I buff out the contour it's very creamy and it blends very, very well. And then after I'm done buffing it out with that stippling brush, I'm gonna go in with my NYX multi-purpose brush and then just kind of push in the product to make it not streaky on my face. And then I'm just gonna be using an elf contour brush to do the my forehead and the corners of my face using that same terracotta color. So I'm doing a lot of blending here because I kind of added too much um, contour on my face. So I'm just taking that e.l.f. contour brush and just making sure that it doesn't look too muddy. So I'm taking my stippling brush and kind of just going over it again until I get the look that I'm going for. Okay, so now moving on, I'm gonna be contouring my nose a little bit. And so I picked up a couple of tricks on YouTube on how to contour my nose. Since my nose is a little wide, I like to narrow it and that's I just draw two lines on my nose to make it look more slim. And I'm taking that MAC SE brush 
226 SE brush and then just kind of like placing that terracotta color all the way down my nose and just creating two lines right down the middle. It took me a while to figure out how to contour my nose, but this is honestly the best way it works for, for me. And then I'm going to be taking a Sigma E37 brush and blending out the lines on my face to create those shadows. And it, it takes me quite a while because I don't want to have any noticeable lines on my nose. And then after that, I'm gonna be taking my Real Techniques buffering brush and then just going over those two lines until I don't see those two lines on my nose, but I can see shadows that make my nose look slimmer. And then I'm taking that Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just buffing everything out and making sure that everything looks seamless and perfect. <laughs> and then I'm taking that multi-purpose NYX brush and again buffing everything out. Same with my Stifling brush. Alright, so now moving on to highlighting. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. I got this on Black Friday and I love it. I'm so happy that I finally got one of her highlighting kits. I've been wanting to dry them. So the way I like to apply any highlighter, I wet my fan brush with some MAC Fix Plus and I feel like it makes the um, the highlighter look so much prettier. And today I'm going to be using that summer shade in my glow kit palette. Um, the glow kit that I'm using is sun dipped, by the way. Alright, so now I'm diffusing my highlighter with that same stippling brush. I honestly use this stippling brush for everything I do on my face. <laughs> so after I am done with highlighting, um, I was thinking of what blush to use. So that's why there's like a long pause here. But I'm going to be using my Sac Posen blush. And I'm going to be applying that with a Real Techniques blush brush. No, just kidding. I'm not using my Real Techniques brush today. I'm using my MAC blush brush. Sorry about that. So when I was getting ready, I had planned to wear another dress, so I had a nude lip, but I ended up switching my dress and ended up wearing this lip, so that's why I'm already ready to go in this part. This is after my event actually, but I just wanted to show you what um, lipstick I wore. And I am using my NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and this is in the color Vintage Retro. And I just like to apply this and kind of overline my lips. These um liquid lipsticks have a great formula. I have the, I have this in two shades and I prefer this formula over the MAC liquid lipstick a million times over. So I'm like really careful when I'm applying liquid lipsticks because they dry so fast that I don't want to, you know, mess up anything. But here are some tricks that I like to use when I do get a little bit of red lipstick on my face. So I'm going to be taking a concealer. Any concealer would work. Any concealer that you like that blends in well for, with your skin. And I'm applying that with a concealer brush kind of to like clean up the... Um, liner of like my eye like where you typically apply lip liner 
and then I'm taking a beauty sponge and kind of just blending it out. And then I'm taking a Q-tip and kind of um, cleaning up the outer corn, like the outer corners of my lips, so I have like the perfect lip, if that makes any sense. And then I got the red lipstick all over my face. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a um, makeup wipe and just cleaning everything up to make sure that I don't have any red lipstick on my face. And then since I took off my makeup, because that is a makeup wipe, I'm gonna be adding a little bit more concealer and placing that on the part where I took off the makeup and again, blending it out with a beauty sponge. And then I'm taking a um, buffing brush and just placing that on my skin so it looks more even. But I would like to say that um, the concealer that I used, that MAC concealer, is a little bit too thick for what I'm trying to do here. So I kind of suggest that you go in with a creamier, creamier concealer like the NARS concealer or the um, Tarte Shape Tape. That one was way too thick for what I was trying to do. So that's why I went in with my cocoa powder and set it again with that buffing brush. All right, so that is a completed look. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye.